Thank you, Hari. Thank you so much. And before I start and talk about myself, let me congratulate you, the entire team, Juhi. I've been I've been hearing and seeing your posts and everything, you know, um, for for ages now, right? You know, though though I'm a very silent uh, uh, visitor uh, in HSSC groups, but I keep seeing it, like you know. So thanks for inspiring equally well. And um, when when I Firstly, when I think about Hari, the, what comes to my mind is I'll tell you what. You know, there is some the, the, this thing what we call not people on their toes. And what's the idea that comes? Like you, you will be on your toes, right? And you are not going to be on your feet. You are going to be on your toes. And for me, Hari is like on the air, not even on the toes. I can't even imagine him on the toes. I can't even imagine him, you know, <laughs> seated on one place, particular place. I think. That energy combined with the idea flowing is what is okay. making HSLC um, what it is, Hari. So Hi. kudos for that, you know, steer it. We are all behind yeah. you, beside you, wherever you want us, uh, us to be in, we are, we are there with you. And that's that's how I want to start. So kudos, uh, congratulations for the entire Thank team, you, Philippe, you know, uh, and, and, and all of you. Okay. Now, um, coming to me, I come oh. with 20 years of corporate experience. I started with TCS as a technologist moved on to another company where I was heading the operations for the country and I was handling many MNC banks in their non-core operations when I left uh, the corporate career for good in 2012 and I started as an entrepreneur, started as a consultant, became a co-founder for a company, you know, held uh, in multiple CXO positions for a very long time, eight years of entrepreneurship and finally turned, uh, 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 you know, entrepreneur turned trainer coach is what I am actually. So, so I'm little against the old where people are trying to be trainers first and then kind of build the business. You know, I had the privilege to build the business first and then become a trainer. And naturally, the culmination was for me to take entrepreneurship and business as my uh, forte in the training. And so I'm a business coach. I coach trainers in groups and individuals on phone calls. And whenever I get an opportunity, I train trainers on becoming a good business person on the side, right? And it goes with the philosophy that, uh, you know, any trainer, and this is a shout out for all the trainers out here across the world who are seeing it, uh, that you know, any trainer needs two skills. One is the technical skill. And when you say the technical skill, it's all about the delivery skill, you know, your ability to uh, research on the product, your concept, you know, come up with the concept and deliver it. And we're all masters of it. Like most of us know it, but the back of you know you tell midnight 12 to deliver 400 people 500 people we can do that so that is set for the trainers but there is something else for the life skill and that's all to do with uh, the art of doing business and unfortunately it pains me to say that you know trainers lack that skill way too much than you know uh, it is expected to be so my mission is to help trainers to hone their business skill. I'm not telling entrepreneurship skills. Now, entrepreneurship needs a very different level of uh, uh, mindset. You know, you should be an avadud to be an entrepreneur. Literally, an avadud, you know, with a profit mindset is out, uh, entrepreneur. So don't go to that extent, but have the basic business skill. You know, you know how to kind of convert your training as a product and take it to market, create a product market fit, go to market, sell it, and make some money. You know, that is what is lacking and uh, that's where Scoopin is stepping into. Scoopin uses, I'm the founder of Scoopin.com and Girish has joined with me and honoring both of us together. I really appreciate that. So that's the background, my dear friends. And um, one more thing I wanted to tell was um, in, uh, you know, in the last 30 years, if you see, 1990s when the new economic policy was released in India, right? 1990, 91, 92. And from there, if you take, right from uh, Infosys to TCS to all the companies, you know, of manufacturing, you take any uh, sector, it has flourished. Today, the stock market is at 50,000 level. I mean, you can imagine what's going on with the industry. Sure. And just imagine where we are laying as a training industry. Are we even honored as an industry? People don't even call us in, in, in this industry. Because we don't have, uh, you know, the statistic to say that we are an industry. That's the gap, my dear friends. And I think the hurry, uh, uh, a real uh, request for you is since you're taking all these initiatives, take us all together to make this industry uh, a profound industry. Let's have something listed on NASDAQ you know, in, uh, in, uh, on our, uh, you know, 
uh, stock market on uh, on the and that's my what my uh, aim is like you know to list scoop in on stock stock market why not after five years list hssc so, on stock market let people buy shares of uh, let let's have that kind of an uh, thing i think we all should work towards that and uh, that's where i and my note my dear friends put for thought let's all begin to think big big and bigger and the biggest for us thank you oh rajesh thank you so much rajesh if you can just quickly share with us what is the meaning of scoop in Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> so yeah, as everyone, we come up with a name for our company, right, and our organization. So Scoopin was a name that I figured out. Um, where in scoop means something hidden in the press terms, like you know, if you go to the press, uh, they will say, "What's the scoop for today?" Which means, okay. "What's that one thing which we have, you no, know, nobody else knows, right?" Okay. So scoop in the current context, in our context, is knowledge. it's so much of knowledge knowledge that need to be unearthed and uh, dissipated back to the society which only trainer can do trainer has so much of strength to be the middleman right so we have getting in to scoop it out and then take it to the market so it's all for trainers to scoop out the knowledge and give it to the world it's that's what scoopin is and in has got little extra connotation uh, so it also means india we are building okay. it in india it's also inspired by linkedin so uh, you know oh. i i was so was some inspired by linkedin so to start scoopin so i wanted to build a linkedin for the trainers and that's what scoopin is all about wow. connecting awesome. the trainers with their deserving market amazing thank you so much rajesh so i